Michael from Planet Naturopath and in today's video we're going to look at the organic acids test from the Great Plains Lab. This is one of my favorite tests to do because it can show so many different aspects of your health. It's also great for kids to do because you can just do a small amount of urine so it's easy to collect. There's no blood samples or going to a lab. This can just be done at home. So if you haven't seen this test before, some of the names they use are long and complicated. Don't get overwhelmed by that. What we want to look at is all the different markers, not just in isolation, but in different groups and how they can affect each other. So let's have a look and I'll explain what it all means. So this is the first page of the organic acids test. From markers 1 to 18, we're looking at the different markers for mold, yeast, and bacterial clostridia overgrowth. So the first markers here look at mold toxicity. And especially if numbers 2, 4, and 5 are elevated, then you may either look at treating mold or doing further investigation like a more advanced mycotoxin test or the visual contrast sensitivity test. Number seven in particular looks at candida and there's a couple of other candida markers also. So this is a very elevated marker of candida. So this, looking, this is looks at the candida metabolism from the entire body. So it's not just looking at the large intestine like a stool test does. Numbers 10 to 14, and I, I use the numbers rather than trying to pronounce words like hydroxyphenylacetic acid. It's a bit of a mouthful. And so once again, this just shows there's dysbiosis in the body. It's not as specific as a stool test like the GI map showing the individual bacteria, but it's a good way of just assessing if you need to do further investigations or even just treat based on what we know here. And then the clostridia markers also are important. They can affect the metabolism of the neurotransmitters. And so when we see elevated levels of numbers, uh, 15 and 17 in particular, then you, especially in children, you might see this commonly in kids with autism, ADHD, learning, difficulty, learning difficulties, um, and in adults with uh, concentration problems, brain fog, um, anxiety, those types of symptoms. So rather than just treating the, the nervous system, this can be looking at treating the underlying cause and addressing the bacterial overgrowth. And here we look at some of the, uh, the pathways and the neurotransmitters. So if here you've got from uh, phenylalanine and tyrosine, you've got the way the body metabolizes dopamine and these clostridia species can affect that metabolism. Up the top here, you've got tryptophan and if, if you're lacking B6, and we're gonna test that later on in the, in the test, you can go down this neuroinflammation pathway and make quinolinic acid. This is the chiuronic acid pathway. And we test both quinolinic acid and chiuronic acid on this test. Here are some of the symptoms of clostridia overgrowth or yeast overgrowth, especially in children. But it might be exaggerated in children, but you're going to still see some of these same symptoms in adults with um, with an overgrowth, especially, you know, the irritable brain fog, the agitation, skin conditions, that type of thing. Markers uh, 22 to 32, looking at the mitochondrial function. Uh, the first couple at the top there, looking at the oxalate markers. And if they're elevated, that could be from too many oxalates in the diet or poor detoxification of oxalates. It can also be from bacterial and candida overgrowth. You want to look at those other markers and it's like that with a lot of these you don't just treat or address each marker individually because they can all be influenced by other markers so you need to look at this test like a big jigsaw puzzle and not just look at the individual pieces high lactic or pyruvic acid can lead to physical symptoms like fatigue poor exercise recovery uh, but also mental symptoms like brain fog and uh, concentration focus problems. If any of the mitochondrial markers in the Krebs cycle or citric acid cycle are elevated, that can lead to also fatigue and it can indicate the best way to treat, like what is causing this blockage. So anybody with fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue, uh, anyone just trying to optimize their performance, especially you know, athletes or anyone just trying to improve can benefit from this test. And this is how the organic acid cycle can affect with um, the candida overgrowth. So candida can be one of the markers that can be one of the causes of the blockages in the cycle. 
Also, things like vitamins, minerals, amino acids, toxins, viruses, bacterial infections, mold, Lyme disease, they can all be blocking either the metabolism of fats or carbohydrates into this citric acid cycle, or blocking one of these uh, markers, which once you block that cycle, it's affecting the production of ATP or energy. The neurotransmitter metabolites, this is checking the metabolites of neurotransmitters in the body, not specifically the brain. So you can't just say that you know, elevated levels of dopamine when there's too much in the brain because it's looking at the whole body. But often when you see elevations, you'll see those symptoms like agitation, anxiety, can't concentrate, you know, poor focus, those types of things. Uh, low dopamine might be lacking motivation, lacking get up and go. Similar to the low norepinephrine, that can be low motivation, low, low energy levels, too much can be that flight or fight, anxiety. The similar for serotonin, you know, too high or too little, uh, too much can be anger, irritability, too little can be depression, sadness, those types of symptoms. I mentioned quinolinic acid and chiurinic acid earlier. They're neuroinflammation markers, so you want to see these low on the test. And they can be influenced, once again, by toxins, infections, but also lacking vitamin B6. And this is looking at how you know, phenylalanine, tyrosine, and the building blocks along with B6 into making dopamine. You also need copper, vitamin C for that metabolism. And if there's a blockage because of those clostridium metabolites, uh, you can get like a buildup of dopamine because you're not able to detoxify it. Looking at the hydroxybutyric acid, acetoacetic acid, these are ketone markers. So if someone's in ketosis, but they've got elevated levels of the number 47 and 48, the adipic and suberic, that means they, they may be in ketosis, but not getting the benefits of metabolizing fats into energy. So this is important because, you know, sometimes people do a ketogenic diet and they're still like they're wondering why they're it's not working like it does for everybody else. At the same time, if you're elevated and you're not meant to be doing a ketogenic diet, that could be an issue with the citric acid cycle and being able to metabolize carbohydrates and fats into energy also. Numbers 50 to 57 are looking, looking at some of the nutritional markers. Uh, you've got B12, this is a more accurate marker than say B12 in a blood test because it's looking at how the cells are utilizing B12. And you've also got B6, B5, B2, coenzyme Q10, vitamin C. And on the last page, we've got the detoxification markers um, for glutathione, also how the body's processing ammonia, so high levels there can lead to chronic fatigue, fibromyalgia, and you've got the markers of um, GI bacteria and salicylates here. For the amino acid metabolites, it's only an issue if they're elevated. So the um, number 72 there is elevated. That could be caused by a bacterial overgrowth. Um, and these are often low. They're, they're usually problems when they're elevated with uh, genetic defects. So preparing for the organic acids test, it's an easy test to do. You just need to collect a small amount of urine the first thing in the morning. There's just a few foods and supplements to cut out in the 48 hours before the test. I also recommend cutting out B vitamins because we're testing for those. We want to see what your natural levels are like. Um, if necessary, you can get a pediatric collection bag. So if you've got young children, we can still do an organic acids test. Once the samples are collected, they're just shipped back to the lab in the prepaid expressed pack, post pack. And Postage is included in the US uh, and we can ship it anywhere in the world. So if you want to get this test, we can ship it to you and organize the return shipping back to the lab. There'll just be an extra um, cost with that. The order, to order the organic acids test, just go to planetnaturopath.com, organic acids, and you can order the test with a consultation, without a consultation. I recommend getting the consultation. I can run through the test with you explain what it all means, and help you with a treatment plan to get your health back on track. And if you've already done a test and you want someone to over to review the test and give you some guidelines on how what it all means and 
what the next steps are for you, we can organize that as well.